Hello and welcome to this Rapid Deploy 5.0 how-to guide. My name is Richard Betterson and today we're going to be looking at job plans in Rapid Deploy. So here's a picture of a job plan from the overview tutorial um, that hopefully you've watched before watching this one. And this shows how you can build up a job plan of various project targets to create uh, complicated routes to live for various different components. So in this case, we've got the script demo 40 project and the schema update project. Uh, we've got different steps between the project targets. So there's a manual step, a rest call step, and an auto step here. Um, and we're running the two project targets for the two different components in parallel in development, then in test, and then into production. We've also got a rollback pipeline, which will only be invoked if the pipeline completes all the way through to the finish, and then we discover some problem in our uh, production environment. We can run the rollback pipeline, which will roll everything back to how it was using the special rollback version. We can choose to use that version or not. Typically, uh, people will use that version, which is the N minus one version that was successfully deployed to any of those environments. We probably wouldn't normally roll back through the development and test environments, we'll probably remove these components here and just roll back to production. We've also got the possibility to add failure branches. So if our deployment fails for any reason, we can perform some remedial actions. In this case, it's again just a rollback, but we could perform anything. In fact, we could even have some specific projects that just deal with uh, failures. And of course, we can have um, project targets that are testing targets so that we can complete the deployment. And if that testing target then fails subsequently to doing the deploy deployment, uh, we can roll back uh, the deployment that led to that failing test. OK, so let's go and log into Rapid Deploy and see how we can create these job plans. So when we've created a new job plan, we get this empty box here. We can just double click on that and we can choose our project. We only have one. We can choose the target. Well, first we're going to choose the Hello World Dev target. We can choose the version. Well, we're going to use the latest version. We've got new version. We don't have rollback version in this case because we're on the main pipeline. OK, now we can save that and give it a name. Once we've saved that, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the project and I'm going to create another target that we can deploy to. Now the easiest way to create a target is to clone an existing one. And just click on this clone button here. We can choose a different server display name, a different installation name, a different configuration name. Actually I'm going to deploy it to the same server, the same installation. I'm just going to give it a different configuration. And the configuration I'm going to give it, I'm going to change the Java deploy variable. So instead of being Java deploy value, I'm going to give it Java deploy another value. I'm going to create this target, and that's now been created. OK, so we need to create a new package. And then we can go back on the pipeline and add this target to the pipeline. Now I'm just going to update this job step and change it from the default auto and I'm just going to make it a manual step. There are loads of other steps you can choose. I'm not going to set a timeout. Uh, I'm just going to carry on. I'm not going to set anything in the security because we don't have any groups set. And I'm going to save that. 
and then I'm just going to run this pipeline. Now the pipeline's halted, waiting for manual intervention. I'm just going to approve that and resume it. And those jobs are complete. And that just is a very, very quick introduction to pipelines. As I say, there's a lot more that you can do with them. But that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.